For a long time, I felt like seven was like the best age that you really could ever be because I feel like a lot of things come together (laughs) when you're seven. There's something about human beings that's maybe there's something we cycle through every seven years. They always say to you that seven years means rebirth and regeneration because all of our cells are replenished after seven years goes by. By the end by the end of my residency, I should be an, an entirely new person. I think there's something in seven years that actually creates sort of a, a, a an organic cycle. In terms of my life, it's been huge because I went from being on the East Coast to moving out to L.A. After seven years, I'm very settled in this new town. It is interesting how seven years does feel like it's completed a whole cycle. Seven to me has always felt like a, a complete number, like a, things sort of endings and beginnings. This seven, this past seven years, has felt like a coming out of something um, sort of uh, sort of unhappy and, and into something that, uh, that feels more like uh, solid ground. I'm also a, a postulant for the holy orders in the Episcopal Church, so in the next seven years, chances are good that I'll be a priest as well, which is scary. <laughs> In the past seven years, I've had seven jobs, four commissions, six productions, three residencies. I've been published three times. I celebrated an engagement, broke off that same engagement. I lost two very close relatives. I've been a bridesmaid three times. I won four relatively notable awards, lost way more. I was diagnosed with a debilitating neurological disorder. I did land an agent and earn a master's. I'm really looking forward to having one constant, <laughs> you know, at least having a, an artistic home for the next seven years. You know, the question is always like, what's next? You know, I, right now I'm, you know, writing certain kinds of plays and I'm really happy writing those kinds of plays, but I also know that, you know, in the next three, four, or five years, I'm probably going to be writing completely different sorts of plays. So the question is, you know, what's the thing that's really going to kind of rock the foundation of what I believe about theater? What's the thing that's going to force me to write something completely different? What's the thing that's going to, like, totally, totally change the way that I look at theater? In seven years, I will be 50. I met someone recently who referred to his 40s as the fourth floor. So now I think of new dramatists as this perfect, benevolent, elevator filled to the rafters with people I totally want to be on an elevator with, delivering me sweetly, gently to the fifth floor of my life seven years from here. I can't wait to see what's up there, but I'm so glad it's going to take some time to arrive.